Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to make this video because the Travelling Notebook arrived back into Australia. Now this was a community project that we started a year ago, so the 28th of Feb, so just a little bit under a year ago. Um, and we sent off two Travelling Notebooks, both starting here in Australia. One was supposed to head towards America, the other one was supposed to head towards Europe. Now, I thought this travelling notebook would take around three months to get back to Australia and I was so wrong. Um, so I actually have all the details here of where it travelled to. So we're going to go over that first so you guys can see how long it took to get to these countries. And because we had two travelling notebooks, I'm going to tell you where the other travelling notebook is, where we think it may be. Um, and yeah, I'll run through that and then we'll open up the travelling notebook and I'll see what goodies are inside. Um, I gave everyone two pages to um, craft on and I haven't seen it and I'm super, super excited. Um, I'll also put some Im images of this on Instagram as well. So, the travelling notebook. So, oh yeah, by the way, I made a video of this community project um, around the 28th of Feb. So I'll put a link probably above the screen and also in the description box below. Um, sorry, on screen somewhere. <laughs> the This travelling notebook is actually the one that was sent to America. So firstly, I'll just tell you where the other travelling notebook is at the moment. So that travelling notebook was supposed to travel around Europe. So it started here in Australia. I sent it off to WA. Now it arrived... So I sent it off on the 28th of February. It arrived the 8th of March. So it, it didn't take too long to get to WA, um, Western Australia. And then from there, the traveling notebook got sent to India. So it was sent on the 8th of March and it arrived the 12th of May. So usually it took around a month to get to each country. Oh wait, sorry, correction. On the 12th of May, we actually thought that the traveling notebook was lost because it had been a month. So I got an email from the lovely lady in India telling me that she hadn't seen it yet. So just from WA to India, we thought the notebook was lost. So I, I told you guys, I think in one of my videos, I said, the traveling notebook, we haven't heard from it, um, from anyone, and it never arrived in India. So from the 8th of March to the 17th of July, so March, April, May, July, so those three months, it was just lost in the mail. We thought it was gone forever. But on the 19th of July, it arrived and sent off. So it actually took three months just to get from WA to India. Now, once we received it in India, it was supposed to be sent to Germany. Now, she sent it on the 19th of July. And I asked um, the woman in Germany if she'd seen it. And that was, I think that was around October. So July until October, it was lost again. Now, she then messaged me on um, via email and told me that she'd actually moved houses, which was really unfortunate. And she said that all her mail was being redirected from her old, old house to the one she is now. So around that time, around the 8th of October, we just assumed that the letter was gone, the notebook was gone forever. Um, and she told me that she may thought may have thought that her landlord actually chucked it away. So the traveling notebook that was supposed to go to Europe went from here to Western Australia, three months later ended up in India, and then was lost in Germany. So that notebook is now lost somewhere in Germany, probably in a bin somewhere, or maybe it's just at a post office. I don't know what happens to un to lost letters. <laughs> Um, maybe it got redirected and it got lost heading back to India. I have no idea. So that traveling notebook never made it to Europe. So I'm sorry for any, everyone who was supposed to receive it. The traveling notebook that was going to America actually had a really long life. So I sent it off on the 28th of February. It arrived in New Zealand on the 12th of March. We, it was sent around the 12th of March. So I'm pretty sure she sent it straight away. Um, and then on the 11th of May, I got an email, so March, April, May, that's two months later, I got an email from the lady in Chile who was supposed to receive it from New Zealand and she told me that she hadn't received it yet. So we thought after two months travelling that it was probably lost in the mail again. So at this point, I thought the one heading to India was lost and I also thought the one heading to Chile was lost. So I was like, this is a bit of a done project. Um, but then it actually arrived in June on the 16th. 
So March, April, May, June. So that one took four months to get to Chile. So that around this time, we just found the Indian one. And then we also found the one that came to Chile. So I was super, super excited. Um, and she sent that off on the 21st of June. She, she sent it off about a week later, um, which is understandable. So at this point, the traveling notebook had traveled from Australia to New Zealand, got lost for three months, so sorry, four months, and arrived in Chile. So I was super excited that that was continuing traveling. So then it arrived in Brazil on the 13th of July. So it took around a month to travel to Chile, to Brazil which honestly I thought was a very long time for the notebook to travel, like a month to get from Chile to Brazil. I was like, what? Um, and then it was sent in August. So she had it in her house at the at a, for a while because Brazil, apparently the post, um, the post office or the postal system, they actually went on strike for a month. So it was in Brazil for a month while they went on strike. And luckily she kept it throughout that month and it didn't get lost. So she sent it on August the 10th. It was in, and then it got sent to Mexico. So it took again about another month to get there. So it was sent on August the 10th and it arrived on the September the 14th. So yeah, it took that month to get from Brazil to Mexico. And then she kept it for about a week um, and then sent it off. So that was really good that people have been sending it off quite quickly. So she sent that off a week later and then it arrived in Texas. Now, because I was getting concerned about the time frame of this traveling notebook, it was only supposed to be on the road, on the road. It was only supposed to be traveling around for um, three months. It's now been a year. So I asked the lady from Texas to send it back to me because I didn't want two traveling notebooks to get lost. So the lovely lady from Texas received it on the 6th of November. So September, October, November. So that took around two months to get from Mexico to Texas. Um, don't know why that took so long, but um, she then sent it, sorry, she had a Christmas break, so I, I lost, like, I, I had to touch base with her again around January, we lost touch a little bit, because I forgot where it was, because I was tracking so many things that I forgot where the traveling notebook was, so it arrived at her place on the 6th of November, and then she sent it off on the 9th of January. In a nutshell, just because I made that a very long conversation, but in a nutshell, the American Notebook is now in my hands, safe and sound. So it started off and it got sent on the 28th of February and it arrived back to me and it's the 2nd of February today. So it traveled from Australia to New Zealand. Then we thought it got lost. Then it arrived in Chile four months later. Then it went to Brazil, Mexico, and then um, Texas. So I'm so sorry for the last three people that didn't get the American Notebook. So it was supposed to also go to Las Vegas, Canada and Ohio. Um, but I really didn't want to lose another notebook. Yeah, it's been a year so I kind of wanted to get sent back to me. So I'm sorry that you didn't actually receive those, um, the notebook, those three people who were left to receive it. But I hope you understand that it's been a year and I really wanted to get back safe and sound. So let's get into the exciting part and let's open the book up and let's see what's inside. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. I really like the packaging. I'm going to take that off straight away. All right, so I actually haven't seen this yet. So this is the first time I'm seeing it. <gasps> it's wrapped so beautifully. Oh my goodness. I want to keep this. Look how pretty this packaging is. Oh, thank you so much. This is beautiful. And I love that you've got the little traveling notebook there. I might take a photo of this before I wreck it. <laughs> It's so pretty. I love it. Look at these beautiful stamps here and the beautiful designing and collages all over. I love it so much. The 1st of March 2018 and then you can see the stamp was the 2nd of December 2018. Oh, it's so pretty. And then it goes, oh, how cute. It goes, this traveling notebook belongs to Brittany McCowan. I remember I completely forgot <laughs> what it looked like oh this is so cute all right so I think I made actually the first page oh no I didn't wait is this the back or the front no this is the front I don't think I made the first page this is so pretty don't listen to what they say go see oh I love it already <laughs> 
I feel like this is so special because it's been one year of traveling. <gasps> I love this! New Zealand. Look inside for more about New Zealand. Oh, you guys spent so much effort on this. Oh, it's about the Kiwis. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Hayley. That's so lovely. And I absolutely love that you've drawn a little picture. Is there something under here? Oh, oh, it's a little book. Oh my God, sorry, I'm losing my voice and I'm getting too excited. <laughs> oh, lovely. Wait, let me open this up. And then she's also got a little bit of information about her. Um, so she's telling us about where she lives, where she's from, her name. Um, it's just really, really lovely. I love that so much. Sorry, is this in focus? So we've got the information about her. I'm just trying to make sure it's all in focus. I don't want it, this whole video to be out of focus. I thought that was so lovely and it's it's great because everyone else in the book got to read this too, not only um, the people at the end, well, me at the end. <laughs> and then we've got these beautiful illustrations here. I love them so much. I'll make sure that this is in focus again. How pretty is that? So thank you so much, Hayley. I'm so happy that it arrived safely in New Zealand. So we'll flip the page over. Oh, wow, where are we now? I already forgot. <laughs> Chile! <laughs> Chile! Hello from Chile. Oh, that's so lovely. So we've got these little information cards here about their dogs and then about hot dogs and then a little bit about herself. So. Sorry, my voice is breaking. I hope that's not annoying you guys. Um, my name is Joanna um, Isabel from Chile. I'm 33 years old. I'm an artist and I'm studying culture management. My last year, <laughs> I'm passionate about nature, sustainability, annals, art and mail letters. And then it says in small writing, the more important thing is love. Everything else is I can't read that I think extra so lovely thank you so much we got a little bit about her country all oh, these flip oh my goodness <laughs> you guys did such a wonderful job oh these little pictures are so beautiful have we got where you are yeah you are right in the center so we got a little map oh and you've even done the kilometers that's really lovely and some more information about the country. This is so lovely. Thank you so much. All right, where are we going to next? Ooh. Brazil. So she's got these little information cards here again um, about, I'm guessing, these are iconic tourist places. Also about the country. So I'm glad you guys have been putting these images in. We've also got this little information card here. And then what's in this pocket? I love that you all guys just made your own pockets. <laughs> oh, and this beautiful paper. Um, so different words, so a language card, which is really cute. We've got, oh, this is so cute, her world. Natalia's world, so snail mail, music, stationery, Hello Kitty, giraffes, cacti. Colourful, Disney, animals, love, creativity, YouTube channel, go check out our YouTube channel, travel tea and internet. So I'm guessing that's her YouTube channel there, sorry, is this out of focus? So there's her um, name there if you want to go check her out on Instagram. And then a little bit about herself. So my name is Natalia. I am 24 years old, I'm a student, I'm studying advertising and marketing at the university and I live in a small city called Santa Maria, located in the south of Brazil. I'm this page, <laughs> I'm this pages, I'm trying to show you a little bit about my culture, I hope you enjoy. Oh, this was so lovely, thank you so much for that. And then what's this? Okay, so we've got the little card, we've got her little world, and then what's, what have we got here? Um, so this is a, okay, so this is served at birthday parties, so it's a sweet. Oh, so it's a little sweet, like a little recipe card, that's really lovely, thank you. Alright, so where are we heading to next? Mexico, 
So again, we've got the little... Oh, there's this flip. Oh, wait. What's going on? Oh, a little map. That's so lovely. Well, everyone's got some really good ideas. So we're going to Mexico. Um, and it says, I hope you can visit Mexico one day. I actually really, really want to. Look at the beautiful foods. I love that you put them in. Again, made a little pocket. And then a little bit about herself. Oh, what's this? It's a little postcard. <gasps> Look at the colours. Isn't that just beautiful? Um, so where she is. Um, this is a photo taken by me. Oh my goodness, this is actually a really beautiful photo. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I can share this with everyone. So September the 1st. Oh, and today is Independence Day. Um, lovely, I really like this. Again, oh, I dropped it. Again, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we've got a little Instagram at. So go check her out if you want to see. I'm hoping that it's got lots more things on there. And then a little bit about her. Hello. Hola. I'm Michelle Mitch from Mexico. I'm 19 years old. I'm a student of languages. <laughs> French, Italian, Japanese and Portuguese. And of course I can speak Spanish and English too. I love photography. I hope you enjoy a little part of my country and city. Oh, this was so lovely. Thank you so much. You guys put so much effort into this and I'm loving every page so far. Alrighty. And then I think, is this the last page or have we got two more? Alright, so, oh, how lovely is this? Oh, it's, you did like a little, what? It flips out again. Oh, guys, <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my god, my voice keeps breaking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Paradise found. So we've got the Texas. Texas, um, she's cut out the shape, which I really, really love. The stars at night are big and bright. Oh, so she's done a little, like, a little art journal here, which I really love. I love that. When visiting Texas, you will need to know a few things. Y'all is the pearl you. <laughs> we have two seasons, summer and not summer. <laughs> So, um, if you're asking for a Coke, you're asking for a soda, which we call here um, soft drink. And then squirrels will throw things at you from, from trees. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. So, Audrey's a lady from Texas. And on YouTube, oh, that must be her YouTube. Um, oh no, her Instagram is it? Anyway, that's her at. Let me keep opening this. I love that she's just done little art journals here. Wow, I love this. Oh, and then we got a lot of information. So I won't read all that out. I'll read that off camera. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for everyone. I know it was a little short journal. Um, we had a few pages left. But to be honest, I really, really didn't want to lose it. So thank you so much for everyone who craft. Thank you to all the different countries. I'm so happy with this. I love, love, love that. And I'm going to be storing that safely. Um, and I'll also put some photos on Instagram for you guys. If you guys want me to do another group project, give me some ideas in the comments below. Um, and let me know what sort of group projects you'd like to participate in. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!